Around 15% of all Europe's gas supplies flow from Russia through pipelines in Ukraine. Some countries in Eastern Europe are almost entirely reliant on Russian gas, while the largest volumes go to the industrial powerhouses of Italy and Germany. Now President Putin has written to leaders of countries in Eastern and Western Europe, expressing his extreme concern that their supplies could be affected because of the more than $2 billion Ukraine owes for Russian gas. He has called for urgent discussions on how to resolve the crisis, but there's a clear threat that Russia may turn off the taps. In Berlin, Russia's deputy prime minister warned that a gas crisis would harm Europe more than Russia. It will force us to find new markets. It will force Europeans to invest in new infrastructure to buy gas from the United States and other parts of the world. You will pay for this more. It will mean that the consumers will pay more. But Russian gas will be consumed by someone else in other regions of the world. With another gas war looming, President Putin was meeting political supporters at his dacha outside Moscow. He told them that he decided to press ahead with trying to annex Crimea last month after conducting a secret opinion poll, which he said showed 80% of Crimeans were in favor. We made the decisions after it became clear what the mood of the people was. We didn't prepare for what happened. To be frank, we could have imagined what the feelings were, but we didn't know for sure. Only after we conducted first opinion polls, which we conducted secretly, only then was it clear that we made the right decision. The diplomatic fallout of that decision continued today, as the Parliament, linked to the human rights organization the Council of Europe, of which Russia is a member, suspended its voting rights. The Russian delegation left in protest, describing the proceedings in Strasbourg as a farce. Daniel Sanford, BBC News, Moscow.